Looking for a thoughtful gift or another item to add to your shop? Look no further. Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to create a knockout text design in Design Space. So the first thing we're going to do is select a bold font. And the one that we are going to be using is called Impact. And I believe that is already preloaded into your design space. We are going to type out the name we are going to be using in all caps. And then we are going to use our letter space tool to move the letters closer together. Okay, now usually Usually what I see um, with these designs is they will use a last name and then add every family member's name um, in, into the last name, which is awesome. I love that idea, but I wanted to switch it up a bit. My daughter's birthday is this month, so I wanted to create a sign for her to hang in her room. Um, so we are going to select the other font we are going to be using, which is I Love Glitter. And this font you can download for free on defont.com. If you do not know how to download fonts to use in Design Space, go ahead and check out my previous video. Um, it's very quick, very easy. So what we're going to do is use an open bracket to create this swoosh. And then we are going to, instead of family member names, obviously, since we're using her name, I'm just going to type out words that describe her. So she is strong. Then we're going to use an underscore to create the heart swish. She is intelligent. Again, another heart swish to collect, um, connect all the words, excuse me. And she is beautiful. And we're going to end that with another open bracket. What I'm going to do is zoom out a little so that you guys can see what I'm doing next. Okay, so now that we have um, all the words we're going to use, we're going to use our letter space tool again to connect all of the letters. Now you don't want to use this too much because if you um, put them too close together, when you go and hit weld, some of the E's um, or the G's, anything that's supposed to have a cutout won't contain that cutout. It'll fill it in and we don't want that so we're just... I believe. You know what? We'll do the rest manually. We're going to hit ungroup and then we are just going to highlight the letters that we still need to move so that they can connect like this. And we're going to do that until all of them are connected or spaced close enough so that we can use the weld tool. Now I am going to be switching the colors um, pretty soon to match the colors that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm a visual person, so I feel as if um, I get a better sorry. I um, can create a better design if I see how it's going to look beforehand. So. We are just going to now select all of these and hit weld. Okay, that looks good. Now, eventually we will um, size it to what we need. The wooden plaque that I'm going to put this on is already stained gray, a light gray. I stained it and it is 15 inches long by five inches um, wide. So we will adjust that after this next step. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of this so you guys can better see it. Okay. And what we are going to do is make it smaller as well. Because we need it, um, we need to change it to a print and cut. We are not actually going to print it, but the print and cut, um, the print and cut on Cricut only allows a certain size. I believe it's like 9.25 inches 
by 6.75 inches if I'm not mistaken so we don't want to go beyond that because then we won't be able to do the next step. Okay so what we're going to do now is this we are going to change it right here where it says fill we're going to hit print we're not actually going to print it like I said but we need that for the next step so now we're going to hit make it and this is what we need so we're going to hit continue send to printer and then we do not go beyond this page what we're going to do now is save this so I'm going to right click save as and then I'm just going to name it knockout save I already had one saved before that's why you saw that okay now we're going to exit go back to our canvas And now we're going to hit upload, upload image, browse, knockout, choose. We're going to hit simple and continue because all we want is this shadow. So we're going to zoom in and then I am just going to erase the bracket around it and hit continue. And now we're going to save it as a cut image. So here we go, insert image. brackets really quick okay now I am going to you know what the brackets might actually help in this situation so that I can make sure okay so this is 9.244 so we're gonna switch this to 9.244 And then we're going to make sure that I turned it enough. Let's remove the brackets and let's move to back. Okay. And we're just going to arrange this to where it fits. And what I'm going to do with our shadow, is that the shadow? Okay, no. I'm going to make the shadow a little bit longer okay I think that looks good so now we're going to take this and we're going to place it in the name and I'm just going to use our alignment tool to make sure that it is lined up where it should be I think I like it right there okay so what we needed that shadow for was to cut out the space in the name to add in our letters to where they are visible. So we highlight everything now and we are going to use our slice tool. Simply move the name and there you go. Get rid of all of this. Now we can add in our words like so. Let me just try and use our align tool again. There we go. So now, like I said, our wooden plaque is 15 inches. So I'm thinking we'll do 13 inches. And then let me see if I could just make it a little bit. It's five inches tall. So we will do, let's say four unless it's gonna to look too stretched out. No, actually I like how that looks. Okay, so since like I mentioned earlier, I like to see what the project's gonna look like, I'm just gonna go ahead really quick and switch our canvas to a light gray because that is the color that the wood is stained. We're going to be doing the main name in gold because these colors will match her bedroom. We'll try to get this to be a goldish color just to see it visually and then this the words that describe her are going to be white. And we could switch that back now to a cut. Okay, so there it is. Now all we have to do is hit make it. I am going to actually cut this from my other computer because that's what's connected to my Cricut right now. So I'm gonna get that cut and weeded and then I will be back to show you guys how to place it onto the wood. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I got everything cut and I weeded it. Um, the only issue I had was I had no idea that I was out of um, 
my roll of gold craftables and since my project um, the design is bigger than 12 inches I had to improvise and what I did was I sliced the A separate from the rest of it so that it could cut on one um, 12 by 12 sheet and my craftables transfer tape is going to make it easy to keep everything aligned so we are going to get started I already have um, all the wording weeded which you can't see because it's in white but we are going to apply the gold first to this piece of um, gray stained wood so I'm gonna put the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing okay what I'm going to do first is Peel the backing off of my Craftables reusable transfer tape and I am going to use the grid lines to place under the A so that this way when I go to grab the rest of the word um, they'll all be aligned evenly. So I'm just going to pick up the A first, like so. And just remove this from my mat. Now I'm going to grab the rest of it by lining it up on the bottom as well. my scraper tool to make sure that enough pressure is applied. Now we're just going to be placing down the name. Um, I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it to where I feel is even and we're going to apply more pressure with our scraper tool. Now we are ready to peel back the transfer tape. I like going from side to side and kind of pulling it off at an angle to ensure that the vinyl sticks properly. And this is what we have so far. Now we just need to add the words that go in between. I'm going to use the same piece of transfer paper. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add this to the transfer tape. done. I love the way this came out. It's going to look so perfect in her room. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks so much for watching.